All right, this is a good question by Dvorka. Dvorka, if I said your name wrong, I apologize. She says, I have just begun to notice mold and connect my exposure to mold with all health conditions I have, so it's hard for me to even start dealing with this problem. Healing me or the place I live? Question mark. My house is in Croatia by the sea. Old stone houses, mold is everywhere was the first step. Um, okay, so that's a great question. If you're living in mold, do you deal with the house first or the body first? And the answer is yes. Okay, is that confusing enough? You need to start on the house with what you can do right away and you need to start on the body baby steps. Okay, so even while you're in mold, you're gonna start supporting those foundational elements of the body that I keep referring to. And my video on foundational uh, supplements and purposes is coming up. So I can't tag you in that yet, but for the house, you need to number one, keep it dry. And that's going to be tricky if you're uh, in a stone house by the sea, but you still hopefully have access to a um, dehumidifier and can work to keep that humidity down so that you don't have excess water in the air, feeding all the existing and making the existing mold grow worse. So um, uh, keep it dry. If there's anything you can, any rooms or anything specifically that's really bad, that you can seal off with six mil plastic and seal it around with tape top to bottom, sealing to floor. Uh, like I've mentioned earlier, an atomizing diffuser, which doesn't add water, but just essential oils like thieves. Um, what else? Uh, filtration, you know, get a HEPA filter in there and at least start catching some things. As for your body, uh, as you may have picked up from other videos, when people get very mold toxic, uh, it affects the gut and motility so much that they stop pooping. And when they stop pooping, toxins just get reabsorbed through the intestinal wall. So make sure you're pooping at least every day, at least once a day, preferably two. Um, you can start doing liver support because if you're mold toxic and breathing all that in, your liver's overwhelmed with trying to process all those mycotoxins on top of anything else that was burdening it. Gallbladder support, bile flow support, lymphatic support, kidney support, all these things. And if you're really sick, you've got to start low and slow. You can always go up. It's hard to go back when you throw yourself into a flare from moving too fast. So those are kind of the foundational things you're going to work on your body. Once you get those in place, you can integrate a uh, gentle binder like humic and fulvic, like sludge. Um, which is humic and fulvic, uh, my brand at pharmacy. And if you get the scoop, then the scoop in the little uh, tub, then you can just put it in a small amount. So you don't have to worry about taking too much. Um, so those are kind of some options. Is it, do you deal with the house or you deal with the body? You gotta do both. And you gotta protect yourself from the house, lower the problems in the house and start building your body up slowly and, but not too aggressively. I hope that helps the Borka. Do you have questions about mold in your home or body? Book a consultation with Matt, a.k.a. The Mold Man, to guide your home and body to the next level of healing.